So hi there. Um, so this is the tutorial looking at typology. Now maybe this isn't something you would expect an artist to be thinking about, but actually it's a subject that's fascinated artists for a long, long time. And typology really is the study of types. I mean, that's it, it in its basic form. Um, but it's a way that artists can classify things according to something quite general or something quite specific. So it could be animals, uh, our historic artists have certainly looked at animals, sea creatures, the natural world um, using typology. Um, but also we could use it in today's world, uh, looking at things around our home. So hair products, things that are metal, things that are blue, we can categorise things. I suppose categorisation is another way of thinking about it. So what are we going to do today? OK, so I'd like you to go around your house, come up with a plan, come up with a type, a thing, a typology of what you would like to photograph. Uh, you're going to need your mobile phone um, and you're going to make to come up with your own category. Now, while you're doing that, though, what you might like to do is just to have a quick uh, look online at the work maybe of Berman and Hilla Bersha, uh, who were industrial photographers. Uh, you might also like to have a look at the work of Lisa Milroy, if you haven't seen her work before, a contemporary British artist, um, who very much has spent quite some time looking at objects, classified typology of things. Uh, I talked about uh, natural world. Uh, so you might want to have a look online at Alberta Saber, who certainly with things like butterflies and sea creatures and corals, beautiful, beautiful watercolour and pen and ink drawings. Um, that might be worth a look just for you to see something in context. So let's get on. Let's get this camera out um, and start photographing. 